Hey guys, this is Cooking with Nathan, and this is Charlie Ford. I don't know why we go. And today, <laughs> she's gonna be cooking for us fucking chicken and waffles. Now, so you did not disclose that I was cooking though before. Oh, <laughs> I am fine with it. But I was like really excited because I rolled out of bed really late yeah. and didn't have enough coffee, and I was very excited to come and be cooked for. And then I got here and found out that I'm the one doing the cooking. This is why people should watch the show before they come on. <laughs> You're lucky. I love you, Nathan. Mwah. Mwah. But also, the thing was, she was like, okay, also, a quick side note, Judy! You're the shit, Judy. Thank you always for being there for us and helping sponsor this channel. You are the shit. You are the shit. Um, but you were asking me if something, you wanted to make something American. And I was like, oh, yeah. you do apple pie. Eh. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, like nope. pumpkin pie. You want to know what's on the top of the list when it looks up, looking up like, like a hundred most American things? What? Key lime pie. But you, I can get key lime pie in Australia. Yeah, it sucks. I fucking hate key lime pie. Really? Do you like key lime pie? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hi. What's wrong with you? Why not? What, what, what do you, why? <laughs> why would you not like key lime pie? It's not that great. It's delicious. Well, Anything citrusy is the fucking bomb. Mm, I, who hurt you, Nathan? Uh, citrus. <laughs> <laughs> when he decided to shoot me in the eye. Yeah, true. Um, but, All right, oh, no, the truth comes out. Yeah, what's that one? Pecan pie. Have you ever pecan? Yeah. I like pecan pie. Pecan pie is Pe good, except it's a pecan. Pecan, say after fuck, me. You get the fuck out of here, <laughs> okay? Bye. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I bought all the food. You're making the damn food. <laughs> all right. He's like, I'm not cooking this today. Oh, I'm going to cook it if you're with it. If, but the, here's the thing. If you're not here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the dough and I'm going to stuff the meat right in there and just stuff, shove everything in there. And see if that works. Yeah, that's bitch. Mm, mm. Anyway, this is when drink. so let's start stuff down my legs. Ugh. So you're going to take this. Right there. Would you mind getting some buttermilk out of the fridge? Sure. I'm on it. So, would you say you're a, uh, uh, it's on the right yellow container? Uh, yes. Do you uh, cook a lot? I used to cook a lot. Huh? And then I got way too busy to cook and I miss it a lot. Yeah. But I reckon I was always the kind of person where I thought if you gave me a recipe for like a croaking bush, I could probably do it. A what? A croaking bush. A cup and a half? What? You know, there's croaking bushes. No, I, I don't like know Like the, the Profiterole Towers with the like... like oh! Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. A cup and a half. Cup and is half. this pints? Oh no, there is a cup for Christ. Me and my Australian brain could not take. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, it's so thick. Mmm, that's what she said. Oh yes, daddy. There you go. Um, so, how, so you've been in America for how long now? Three months. Three months? Mm-hmm. And what, what I'm a you, spring chicken. I'm fresh you, uh, off the boat. <laughs> What are you, uh, what you doing out here? I quit my, well, it wasn't really a day job because I, I was an emergency vet while I ran a porn company for two years. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it a day job, but I quit being a vet and was like, if I'm going to take a chance on myself, why not now? And I just got really lucky that I got, I got, I managed to convince like one of the best agents on the planet to take me. And so I was like, well, fuck it, let's move. So I used all my life savings to move to America and here I am. And how, because, so you're, uh, you got, you got with Spiegler, right? Yeah. How did that whole thing work out? How'd you get a hold of him? How did, like, because that's not easy to do with people that are in the fucking country. I was trying to reach him for two years and I couldn't reach him. And then I've shot a fair bit with Rocco Sofredi mm -hmm. and I did a shoot with, for him with Valentina Nappi and they both vouched for me and they both, I remember though Rocco Aww. gave me this phone number. Who uh, is Valentina? Rocco, she's good. She's lovely, dude. I love her so much. I love feeding her really shitty American food. Oh, she must hate you. Oh, it's so You can't be her friend. No, 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 me and her spent three days out in Portland together shooting scenes. Yeah. And my favorite thing was taking her to like Applebee's and yeah. she's like, I want chocolate. I'm like, yeah, do you? Oh yeah. And just getting her like the shitty, like, uh, what was it? Chocolate, chocolate, what's it? Chocolate with this ganache inside, so it's yeah. a lava cake. Yeah. And like watch an Italian woman eat this and just hate it <laughs> to her core and then just come, oh, love her, love her death. Yeah, she's an angel. Yeah. We bond a lot over our animals. Oh, yeah, she would. Yeah. yeah. She's lovely. Yeah. So, what you want to do is put a good amount of each one in there because this is what the chicken's going to go in. Okay. That's yeah, good. Yeah, about that much of each one. Yeah. 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 Fuck it. Um, anyway, so um, Rocco gave me Mark's 
home phone number. Like I'm not talking his mobile, even like I called the number and Mark was like, how the fuck did you get? Well, he didn't say fuck because he doesn't really say that, but he was like, how did you get this phone number? And I was like, Robbie gave it to me. And he's like, I don't even know this phone number. <laughs> so um, that was my origin story, I guess. I sound like a super villain. Yeah, no, works out. I don't really know what we're sprinkling in here and you haven't told them. So good luck trying to recreate this, guys. What? What, what spices? You oh. haven't told the people what spices. I'm gonna tell them shit. They're gonna figure I, I it out. I don't even know. There's gonna be a cookbook, an all-telling cookbook that comes out in oh the future. Lord. And out of each yes, I'm gonna have your name I'm above just it. gonna ruin it for you. There was at least paprika, garlic powder, and I don't know what this is. There's no label on it. No, there is. It's cayenne pepper. Oh, okay. <laughs> Smell. I'm good. I don't wanna sniff cayenne pepper. You can't fool me. <laughs> I can. No. I can I'm and I shall. I'm too smart for you. I assumed he wanted me to mix it. He never yeah. actually told me. It's exactly what I want you to do. You're so See, I'm such a natural. You're so good. You're so good. Can I dump all that in? Well, yeah, I stirred up really good. I did. So basically what's going to happen is this is going to be the kind of, the, I guess we call it a marinade. There might be a different word for it. But we got chicken. I uh, deboned or uh, cut up a whole chicken the other day. We got a full chicken breast, uh, chicken thigh, chicken leg. And we're going to let this sit in there for, if you can, 24 hours. If you can't, like us at and the moment. I, well, actually, we got mine to sit in there for a couple hours, so. I'm very happy. Dump it in there. Go. This way or the other way? No, yeah, go Doesn't that. matter? Yeah, just don't let it see all the. There we go. Well. Yeah, really scrape it out. It's so juicy. Just like your vagina. So wet in there. Mm. You are live on YouTube, sir. You can't say those oh, words. Oh, I here. can't say whatever the fuck <laughs> I want. It doesn't matter. Um, Question. What? When it comes to, because now you've you've been in, you've been in the industry over here for a while. You've shot some scenes over here, shot some scenes in Australia. Mm -hmm. What are the big differences you found when it comes to shooting in America sh to shooting in Australia? So in Australia, besides my company that started up, realistically there was only one one major company, and then there were a couple of offshoot companies that did like solo stuff, but not a lot of girl girl or anything like that. So I don't think they're really comparable. Mm. You know, like our, our our industry standards in Australia were set by one company. And when you compare them to America, it's like vastly different. So but could you give me some examples? Um, so the average going pay rate in Australia for a girl for that particular company, and I won't use names because I don't think that's really fair, but it was like $400. Oh, shit. Um, Australian, which is what does that work out to be in the US? Like three, uh, 280 to 300 US dollars, maybe. Yeah, that's a lot less. Um, and solos were less, and it was very. It's very hard for men to get work professionally. There were two companies shooting, but they're not really shooting much anymore. And I, I'm not going to go into the drama of the boys and their pay rates because we would be here for a long time, and I'm not in the interest of like creating drama that's unnecessary. Mm. But safe to say, it, there was not really an avenue for male performers. Gotcha. Two cups of flour. I'm on it. Yeah. Um, and. What, how were they, like, okay, so you've now done some scenes with guys in America. Yeah. What, yeah, how were they, tr yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How were they treated over there? Like, just like on like a, a more mainstream, that wasn't yours, you know? Um, it's hard because, like I said, there was only one company that really shot significantly, like full time, and they didn't use men. So I didn't really, my experiences with male talent was really more so from Europe than from Australia. Mm. Unless I hired someone from my own company, but then I set my rules. So it's not really a, like comparable. Yeah, so I didn't really experience boys mm. in that way. I'm sorry. Until Europe. Oh. And then it was a very fast initiation with some pretty <laughs> European adult film is very hardcore. So I went like you, off uh, the deep end. Where'd you go to uh, legal? Yeah, so, legal, Rocco. Oh yeah, that's a whole thing. Let's do uh, three tablespoons of sugar and one teaspoon of sea salt and one- Sea salt? Sea salt. Perfect. Sea salt. Is this a teaspoon? Or, yeah, that's gotta be, no, that's half a tablespoon. Your thing, hey. Hey. Did three, you say three teaspoons? Three of those bad boys. Um, now, could you explain to everyone who doesn't, who's not in the know, what legal porno is? It is a company that shoots, I wouldn't say they're the most extreme company out there, mm. but they're well up there. I, I would, yeah, I'd go like insects would be- I'd Like you can't go much further other than like um, 
uh, what is it called? Um, is it My Perverted Family or something like that? Something like that. I'd say, I say legal porno when it comes to stretching out the body is yeah. the most extreme with that. But when it comes yeah. to stretching out the mind, there's other ones. Yeah. But like when it's, we're- It's physical, it's very much sexual athleticism. Yeah, it's in like- I've already forgotten how much you wanted a baking uh, powder salt. Uh, baking powder is one tablespoon. Okay, I'm on it. Uh, then one teaspoon of salt. Um, yeah, cause I, cause if you guys don't understand, so one of the big things they do in legal porno is like triple anal. Yeah. Which honestly doesn't seem like fucking feasibly possible because but basically it is. it's like you have like and this is not saying anything bad about the guys you have to shoot up your dick to do this because there's no way to actually feel you can't feel much and not only that but it's like i'm i'm looking at what's going on there's a guy up here there's a guy down here and there's me back here just doing this yeah so it's like you're just kind of like that <laughs> and like let's not even say with them but for the girls goddamn impressive yeah, right. Super impressive because none of it these are small It blows my dicks. mind what bodies can do. Oh yeah, it's it fascinating. It's fucking like, wacky. I watch videos of myself back sometimes, and I'm like, did that really fit there? Yeah. Yeah. And it's it, nuts. it is impressive how elastic. I don't have a screen, so I'm just gonna. Ugh, ugh. I wonder if this will work. Oh here. <sighs> I'm on it. <laughs> the human body is nightmarishly elastic. It is wild. Yeah, right? Especially the booty. Dude, the booty's crazy. The booty is its own living organism, I swear to God. It's like, it's just a whole other place. Yeah. Oh, one second, where are we going to? Now we do one cup of milk. Milk. Three eggs. Boom, 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 boom. Throw it. <laughs> Catch! Let's, mm. let's Play with disaster. What? You didn't want to throw it? Uh, you know, I was uh, I was testing you. Well, I mean, you didn't test me though because you didn't throw it. How dare you? I'm so sorry. I just, okay. I just want you to love me. <laughs> <laughs> Three quarters. I mean, I feel like cooking for you is true love. It is. Mm -hmm. It really. I'm not sure if cooking for yeah. me, cooking with me, is true love. But everyone uh, agrees in this room at the moment. <laughs> everyone went on. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True. But here's How the many eggs did you say? Uh, three. Oh, look, here's some we prepared. He didn't trust me to count them out, so we just fucking you know, left three. You know, here on Martha Stewart, <laughs> we like to go a little tougher. Uh, I thought you were judging me for how I cracked eggs for a second because it no. went mightily quiet for a second. No, sorry, it says three quarters of it uh, butter, and my brain's not working 100% right now, and so I'm like, three sticks? Three quarters of a stick of butter? No, just three quarters. A cu oh, three quarters of a cup. Fucking idiot. You even wrote it. I can see it. You know what? Let's see. <laughs> I am judging. I, I, I love it. <laughs> fuck you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, was it one cup of milk? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. Yeah, I've already gone. We've gone way past the milk. <laughs> oh, we're right the milk? <laughs> this is chaos. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we will make chicken and waffles or if we're gonna make like a cake. I don't know at this point. Like, you know what? You're asking a lot of questions for someone who doesn't know what the fuck you're making. Why are American eggs so yellow? That's what I want to know. Like, do they literally like food dye the yolks somehow? Um, this is well, not a, th like look how yellow that is. Okay, so. That's uh, radioactive. Like no, no, eggs no, right wait, wait, wait. Calm your fucking tits for a second, okay? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, it, so, well, it stresses me out when okay. I see American eggs. No, these and eggs... And they're often also really white on the outside. Like, their shells are white. No, these are a lot healthier of eggs. These are like... Is that? Yeah. I don't... I don't it's so yellow. Is, do you get ones with white shells? It feels like, um, like the chicken is like... A Superman chicken, like yeah. somewhere. Well, these are the these are better eggs. The harder shell, the like it's like usually happier. It's fed well. It's, it's well, they look like the eggs in Australia until you crack them, and then it's like. What do your eggs look like? Blue. I mean, if I had flour and I put eggs in and like yeah. mixed up, it would be like the lightest yellow. It would be um, not <laughs> not this bright, colorful concoction. Well, you know. Uh... I'm just curious, like they must do something to it's, it. It's the way they're fed, it's what they're, uh, Jesus Christ, why people won't talk to me? It's, Even your cheese is yellow. Yeah. This is like, as an Australian moving to America, I've realized that everything just looks so different. It's, you know what's the worst part about that is everything's what? kind of the same, but everything's kind of different. Yeah. Because you're coming to a country, everyone speaks the English. 
everyone kind of looks the same, but they don't act the same. Like your cheese is very yellow, your eggs are very yellow. Are you talking about the, uh, the, it's the square? It's me a hot second to get used to it. Just cheese in general, it looks like it's food dyed, maybe. Well, some of it is. <laughs> that makes sense. Wait, keep stirring that bad boy up. She stirred, boy. Mm. No, no, so so we stir her. I should not have gone to the gym yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is it your arms or that was your legs? I did leg day, but I feel like my body's just like tired in general. So this is a thick concoction. What, like coming to America, mm. what is the biggest differences that you found besides the cheese and the eggs? Um, oh, there's so many. Like give us, give us, a, like, give us like the top I did a five whole, because... I, I did a whole like 20, 15, 20 minute YouTube video the other day on how, all the differences that I found in America. Because, because I've been around enough Australians to fucking, what? Fucking watch the butter. So I've been around enough Australians to fucking know all these things. <laughs> did you just get told off? I love it. <laughs> He said, Mira, Mira, get in there! Get in the shot! Um, but like, would you tell us like some of the things that you found, like the top five? You have five. two shower curtains. What why? The? I don't know, I don't have two shower curtains. Why, why, why do we have two shower curtains? Yes, you do. I guarantee, I almost guarantee you I could walk into your bathroom not right now and see two. Go. I wanna. No. I will be, I will love, uh, but no, but that doesn't count. Yeah, it does. No. Yeah, because you doesn't. said I guarantee and I was like, so if, no, you, you, don't, bitch. if you have like the so most American houses have the like the, shower the actual yeah. shower curtain, right? Yeah. And it has two because you've got one to go on the inside oh. and one to go on the outside, but it's so unnecessary because just have the one that you go that goes on the outside with the like pattern or whatever and just keep it on the inside of the tub. You don't need to. I would like to point out I have no idea why they do it. It's always confused me because then I like I and then they leave both of them outside the tub and then I have to put one inside yeah, the tub. None of that I don't makes like any it. sense. Just have one, avoid confusion. Yeah. I'm I'm too lazy and sometimes too stupid to it took me a while to work out why there were two as well. Did, did, would you get a reason? Well, because you've got one to stop the water from going out and then you've got one for prettiness, but you could just make the one inside look pretty as Is well. It's like having a thousand pillows. Yeah, but no. I love that. Don't knock that. I'm gonna knock it. No. Okay, well, next one. I love to drown in pillows. Um, I, it's weird how you've got like whole food chains that are tied to religion, like in and out oh. like Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Like, it's fascinating because we're not like a churchy country in Australia. Fuck you. Have you been to Melbourne? There's so many churches. No, there are a lot of churches, yeah. but we don't have like businesses tied to our churches per se. Like there might be opportunity shops or thrift shops, I think you call them. And but you know like, what the best part about that is? What? This is a country who's like, we don't want religion and state to be a thing, yeah. but yet we kind of want to be a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else? Um, oh gosh, there were so many things. Um, Amazon is a wild ride here that I can order something overnight. Oh yeah, it just comes there. Yeah, it, it's you know not what? quite that fast in Australia. We have Amazon, but it's not quite crazy. Like the that. fucked up part about that is it made us, it makes this country so much more entitled to everything. Like when I can't get the thing the next day, I'm like, what the fuck is this, dude? What kind of bullshit am I? I had a friend recently have a bad experience with Amazon and she was like, I'm gonna boycott them. And I was like, yeah, but girl, there's like no one else doing what they do. And uh. she was like, yeah, you're right. Like at some point I'm gonna need something at like two o'clock in the morning and yeah. I'm not gonna be able to like. Yeah, you can't boycott them. You know. It's not. Um, we had to let the butter cool down real fast. That's why we killing some time. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, I'm scared to touch guns on a YouTube channel, but your gun situation is pretty crazy. What, wait, what? No, hey, don't feel bad about it. Uh, would you? I, I live in a country where we had a huge mass shooting in 1989, and our prime minister went, "Well, gonna get rid of all them," and we all just went, "Yeah, that makes sense. All right," and we put them all in a big pit and gave them away. And you can still own guns; they're just you know, licensed and you have to keep them a certain way and you can only use them a certain way and most of us don't feel like we need one and so, um, like, we haven't had a mass shooting since 1989. Yeah. Um, you know, I get, like, I went shooting with Nathan. I fucking adored it. Dude, that was so it much fun. It was crazy fun. But... but can, I, can I say the, my favorite part about the whole what? thing was? It wasn't going shooting. It was when we left the rifle range and we're walking out and there was a family of like six people with shotguns and they're all taking pitch together. Like nine year olds. And me and me and her have are holding a bunch of guns and we're walking to get a burger and a beer at the gun range. You can While review. a nine year old is shooting with dad yeah. and I was like, I'm in another planet. Yeah. Like, it's like it's such a weird thing for her. She's like, 
Uh, and I'm like, I'm just, I love it because it's like taking someone to do something so different. Yeah. It's fantastic. It was a culture shock for sure. Yeah. Oh yes. my god, that looks good. Um, that was my. I oh love god, that. I could go. I could go forever. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Um, the fact that, like, it's weird. So in our supermarkets in Australia, you can get like, you can get a little bit of pharmaceutical stuff in it. Some of them have like the alcohol store attached, but it's never really a part of it. But you can get your fresh groceries in the same places, like all of your other stuff. And here, it drove me nuts that I would go to a supermarket, but then if I needed like toiletries or if I needed like Panadol or something like that, I'd have to go to CVS instead. Like I had to go to a separate place because I'm so used to just going to a supermarket and getting what I need to get. There's supermarkets that got a pharmacy store? Yeah, but not many. Yeah. But dude, Ralph's, Pavilions, they all have fucking... I've never heard any of those names, so clearly I'm not going to the right place. Yeah, I'm like, dude, yeah. everyone I've ever gone to has one of those. Go to Target, go to... Like, everywhere's got a... Uh... Bayerta doesn't, and I've been there. Trader Joe's no. doesn't have it, and I went there. Where was the other place that okay, I went? Okay, stop, stop. Smart and Final. You went to three. Yeah. No. Three of the biggest ones. No! Not even close. No? Vallarta? <laughs> everyone's laughing. Yeah. Uh, Vallarta, the, they, they have like... <laughs> The, the off-brand Mexican Tylenol, but like... Oh my God. They got so, tequila. <laughs> Vallarta is so funny because... I love when, Vi by the way, I love Vallarta. That fucking place is great. When I, when I first got here, my, my friend, who shall remain nameless because I don't want to embarrass her, she was like, let's go to Valeria. And so we went to Valeria. And <laughs> the, it looks like it says Valeria on the thing. And so then I moved house. And I was talking to my friends about how I wanted to go. And they were like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and then... I like no, it was called Vieta. Um, yeah, it was awkward. Can you put a knife back from my car? It's got my uh, thermometer in it. It was really awkward. Uh, yeah, no, very, dude, I love Vieta. I it's, just love that there's pinata. I want to buy a pinata from this. Oh, you should. I will. Dude, Don't there's worry. there's full stores in LA where you can buy a bunch of random pinatas. Yeah. It's fucking dope. I know. Um, I can't wait. I'm gonna buy one for sure. Oh, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, so yeah, Smart and Final is a place mm -hmm. you can get cheap shit. Like like. And huge. Yeah, like when. It's like you buy flour and... Oh, yeah. You want to buy like 80 pounds of rice? Yeah, that's Fucking where. Fucking good, you know? Oh, my God. Costco. We have, a, we have a couple of Costco's in Australia, but I'd never been into one. Because yeah. we didn't have Stir. many, and I didn't really think that... Um, like, I really had a reason to go there, and then mm. I went there for the first time. Amazing, yeah. right? Oh, my God. It is like going to... Our equivalent in Australia would be, like, Ikea or something. Like, I loved walking around seeing that I could buy, like, a washing machine and dryer or a mattress or, like... A casket. My... What? Oh, you do in the, in the Midwest? <laughs> you can buy caskets. You can buy anything. You can go get your fucking big screen TV. You can get your casket. You can get a whole bunch of shit. I mean, I'm not... I don't think I want to prepare that much. I don't need to prepare life to death, literally. And but... really good pizza. Really? The pizza there's not bad. Yeah. The only thing that I wish they did is what Ikea does and have, like, a little food court. Because I feel like... They I do. Can... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Costco, oh. Costco, they serve their pizza, hot dogs. They have like these... Oh, I thought you meant it was going to be pizza that you buy in the freezer. No, no. They have it there ready for you. You can also buy a freezer. Mm. They also have chicken and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, dude, no. I go there when I need to, like, when I'm doing big parties, I'm going to get, like, brisket and pork and a bunch of meat. Yeah, fine. Yeah, they're great stuff. Yeah, I'm obsessed with Costco. The only place that I still have to do, I think, on the, like, American shops have to do list is Home Depot. Mm, Home Depot. I think it's Home Depot. I think that's like our Bunnings. Is it like a hardware store yeah. that sells plants and stuff as well? Yeah, they sell everything. Yeah. I I could eat one of those places up. I, I In Australia, you would get lost in there for half a day. Yeah. I could I could do all sorts of stuff in there. Yeah, there's... um. What temperature are you checking it's going to? 350 Fahrenheit. So. Yeah. What is that in Celsius? Find because out. I'm Australian and I've got no uh, idea. Well, once we get to... Let's see. It's going to be at... I feel like it must be 180. Three, dude, this has been the weird thing about Celsius because I've been learning more about it. And if it's like really hot here, like 90 to 100, it's like 35. Yeah, 35 I, think, I think 90 is about 30 or 32 or something. Yeah, like but like, that. In, but like then apparently it the degrees don't match up because then it goes yeah. to six, but it's like 30. It just doesn't, it doesn't. I, I literally looked this up before I got here and the formula is so complicated because we were trying to work out. In Australia at the moment, in Melbourne, it's like three degrees Celsius at yeah. night. And that's like 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's like five times the number. But then when you go higher, it doesn't match up. Like the, yeah. it's a really complicated formula and I've given up understanding it. 
I'm a batter bitch, so I always want to just eat it raw, but I know this is going to taste horrific because there's like hardly any sugar in it. Well, but I really want to do it. And I just no, love there is sticking, sugar in there. I like sticking my fingers into things I'm not supposed to. God, I like that. Um, but there is sugar in there. Yeah, but three teaspoons is not going to make... I mean, we can test it, but... Yeah, I regret. It's just all flour. Oh, we it'll, be deli it'll be delicious for chicken, but... That is, that also, is, that that, is no. definitely flour. See that? So we never put vanilla in there. Bad boy! <laughs> so vanilla chicken. No, not vanilla chicken. No? No. Is this not what's going on the chicken? No, this is a, this oh, is this a, is a waffle. It's a waffle. So vanilla waffle. Okay, that makes and sense. And also, you remember, you don't want to make it too sweet because you're putting the uh, bourbon maple syrup on top. And also, we're going to make a uh, honey butter. Oh my god. That should be. This is actually really good training for work, I feel like. This mm. is like, this is training the correct muscles for me to be very good mm. at my job. You know what? Although I might break a penis off if I really like yeah. went this hard on a uh, guy with me. Be question. careful when next you, time, when you, when you work <laughs> on me, have I ever felt like you could go too hard? No, but I remember convincing you to let me try biting you and I don't know what I'm allowed to say on YouTube. I, just, I, just keep saying stuff. We'll find out. <laughs> Let's see if we lose, if I lose your entire platform. Oh my God. Well, hey, no, I remember we were doing things that shall not be named. We're sexing. I, I asked if I could bite something that shall not be named. It was my dick. And you were like... Sure, let's see how it goes. But you seemed a little nervous. And then I, you just kept saying, harder, harder, harder. And I was like, that's what I was like. Mm, he's one of my kind of people. He's a freak. I like. Honestly, I, uh, oh, wait. Sorry. You're getting so, Are you trying uh, to get me drunk? No. No, ma'am. I have to work later. I'm going to put a dash of water in it because I am one of those bougie bitches. You're a good person. That's what it is. No, some people say that it ruins the scotch for them, but for me, I prefer a little sniff of water. See, that's better. <laughs> Vanilla with our flour. It's got a lot more. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. So, let's see. Here's now the... I could lick that bowl clean. Yeah. Now, the real question is, should we make the waffles first and then move on to the chicken? They will get cold though, I That's feel like, That's true. Won't they? The waffles will only take a couple minutes, so let's... So let's do them last, because yeah. I feel like chicken keeps warm for longer She's than gonna waffles do. She's going to take a, a second longer, so I'm here's this. I'm such a smart cookie. You know what we should do then? What? We should... Honey do you, would you like bacon crisp on top? Like chunk top? Yes. Okay, good girl, good girl. Soon. <laughs> I don't know which camera to be shocked at, but like what kind of question is that? Well, so <laughs> what we're going to do... Where's the fucking... Do I want bacon? You know what? I have to ask. Fucking vegans. Okay, yeah, fair enough. We're in LA. <clears throat> Let's chop up. Even your bacon is a little yellow. Yep. So what I want you to do, cut it and then just chop little chunks out of it. And we will... Isn't it chopping it and into little chunks the same thing as chopping it. You just want to just chop it and then chop it into little Oh, I was just trying to make it so it's smaller, but uh, how's your knife skills? <laughs> I'm on it, it's fine. <laughs> do, do you want, do you want me, do you, let's, let's, <laughs> let, 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 let me, let me do something fast. Stop, How stop, small stop. do you want it? So really fast, what I only want you to do is instead of doing this, put your knuckles here, so this goes right there, so there's space in between your uh, tip of your nose. That's all I want sure. And so it's just boop, boop, boop. But how small, so you're wanting small, small. Yeah, like, I, because what I'm going to do is after it's, like, crispy, and this makes it easier, um, uh, easier to cook fast. Because mm -hmm. we're going to do that, then we're going to do the honey, honey butter. I love that you don't trust me not to cut my fingers off. I don't trust anyone not to you're cut the fingers. You're the one that gave me whiskey. Yeah, and because I can <laughs> cook and get fucked up. So I hope everyone else can do the same thing. You don't but, know if I can or not. Uh, I don't believe you can, but that's uh, fine. Don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> it's not like that. It's 100% like that. Now I am going to, I'm going to invite you over and I'm going to have like a shit ton of beer and then I'm going to test it out. So I've told you about my drinking game challenge, right? No. 
But do tell. So I'm going to do this on YouTube at some point. But I'm going... So basically, my friends and I in Australia, for fun, we used to take the Jamie Oliver 15-minute cookbook and you choose something from the cookbook. And you've got your 15 minutes to prepare mm -hmm. the way that he says in the book. And then your timer starts like what he does. But for every minute over 15 minutes that you go, you have to shot beer or wine. I'm the only person to be under 15 minutes and the only person to be over an hour and 15 I nearly burnt my house down that time. It was not a fun time. I started an oil fire. It was a whole thing. I'm, I will finish it. I no, swear. <laughs> I got distracted. So I'm going to do it again. Uh, let's do but it. I'm going to do it with... <laughs> Did I invite you? No, I'm joking. Yes, of uh, course you're invited. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, let, let me rephrase that. I'm coming on the fucking show. Uh, mm, mm, mm. All right. Let's throw all that in here. Get in there. Get over here. Get in there. I want you in my belly. I'll take that. Take this, take it. I'll put that boop. Boop. Beep, <laughs> beep, beep. This one's mine. So we're going to slowly. Do you have a little. Yeah. Oh, there you go. And while you're doing that, know what I'm going to do? Just get I feel like honey. this was the wrong top to wear to cook because I just feel. I don't know why, but a light breeze is going to catch me and off I go and I was never seen again. <laughs> There you go. We do have fire extinguishers. I love bacon. I, I don't love, like that I love bacon because as a vet, I know how intelligent pigs are. Oh, and I hate that they taste so good. Why do you have to taste so good, little dude? So I used to raise pigs. Yeah, my and dad grew up on a pig farm. They're super smart. They smell terrible. And but I just love the, the food. Animals. I love them. They're so good. They're the best. I really struggle to eat beef, actually. And I only eat beef to up my iron maybe like once a month now. Yeah. Not because of like um, the fact that they have to die, which is horrible. Um <laughs> Like when, during vet school, we had to do six months in an abattoir mm -hmm. and it was very eye-opening. I didn't eat meat for like a solid six months after it finished, um, but it made me feel a lot more at peace about eating meat because the one that I went to is the largest one in the Southern Hemisphere and um, they were treated so well and it was like really fast. But I don't like eating beef because um, at vet school, you learn that cows have an extra vertebral artery that runs up to their brain. And if... You are in a bad abattoir, which is rare these days, but if, if someone doesn't get the right place and doesn't go deep enough and doesn't get that extra artery, they can wake up while they're exsanguinating and it's like, I just, oh, I hate that. And they're, when they're what? While they're losing all their blood, while they're passing away. Oh, oh, like when they're actually in the when, slaughterhouse. Like, because they get stunned and it's supposed to all happen while they're knocked out. Yeah. Um, and the vast majority of the time there's no issues and especially in the, like, really good abattoirs. But, like, if... Um, yeah, if you don't get that artery, I God. don't like that. Is you talking about when they do the whole punch in the forehead? Yeah. Yeah. The whole punch. Well, because they, <laughs> well, that's what it is. I mean, it's this, 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 this metal rod that shoves in their yeah. head. Yeah, I've never heard it called a hole punch, but though. Oh my um, God, I normally like being spat on, but I don't, this is a spicy spit. Uh, you can turn the heat down and it would, uh... We'll no, because we need crispy bacon. I will take it. Oh, that. no, but, like, the thing is, with it, you can do it It's slowly. like a BDSM sesh. It's yeah. fine. I'm, I did I'm this, fine. I did this naked the other day. <laughs> You're crazy! Yeah, on, uh, on, a uh, fucking, uh, chatterbait. Was it, like, getting your little chest? Uh, no, it was a lot yep. of my dick, though. <laughs> Everyone's like, watch out! I'm like, don't worry, it's bacon kisses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Meanwhile, in your head, you're like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> Screaming. I was like, oh, thank God there's vodka. <laughs> Um, I feel nothing. I don't feel anything anymore. My soul is dead. I'm dead. You can dead. only cook bacon naked if you have no soul anymore. That's true. Is that what it is? Or yeah. a ginger. Mm. <laughs> so, you've been doing sex work for how long now? For, I've been shooting for three years. Three years. So, do you start off webcamming or what do you do? Um, I went straight into, uh, like it was porn really. Like, I remember graduating vet school. And I had a friend suggest that I try it and I was too chicken at the time because I was worried about like if I get a job as a veterinarian and they find out will I lose my job because that's a very real thing to think about oh, the yeah. stigma of it. Um, and so I thought about it for a year and then there was just a point where I went, you know what, fuck it, I just don't care. Mm -hmm. So I decided to try it and loved it. 
and I was really, I've been really blessed. Like I worked in two vet um, clinics while I did porn. The first one I was outed to, which wasn't fun, but my bosses were excellent about it mm -hmm. and I didn't feel judged and it was never made an issue. Um, and then the second place I actively told before I was hired and they were like, we don't care. As long as it doesn't affect your work, we don't care. So I'm one of the lucky ones. It doesn't go that well for a lot of people. A lot of people get that stigma attachment. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just extremely blessed. Dude, that's but, awesome. But you know, vets, I mean, <laughs> vet clinics can't really be fussy at the same time though because the veterinary industry is fucked. You guys need to be, I don't know who I'm talking to at the moment, but you guys need to be nice to your vets because there is, at least in Australia, six times the national suicide rate with vets. Oh, see here, it's, uh, it's dentists. Dentists are high in Australia as well, mm. but I guarantee you, your vets are up there as well. I think mm. it's it's fairly common across the board. Um, and 50% uh, of vets leave within the first five years because you are you have people screaming at you all the time or people expect you to treat the animals for free, even though you know, you've got to make money to be able to look after these animals. Like you've got to pay for the drugs somehow. Mm. Um, and ultimately, if you've been irresponsible in purchasing a pet that you can't afford. Yeah. It's not our our place to fill that gap just because you love it. Like we love it as well, but at the end of the day, everyone has to eat, everyone has to make a living. Um, and the euthanasia, especially for me, I worked in emergency and I saw a lot of death and I was just, I came from a good place to be able to deal with that. Before that, I was an intensive care physiotherapist and I looked after a lot of people in hospitals that, um, like my, one of my hospitals in particular did a lot of organ donation. So I would look after like 18 year olds that had had brain aneurysms and just like dropped dead on a football field. Um, and I would look after their lungs until they donated their organs. And so I saw what it was, and you know, stroke patients, like for example. That. Just like put your finger on it. Yeah. Um, yum. And I saw what it was like to not have euthanasia. And I yeah. was like, fuck this. I don't want to be, a, I don't want to make this situation. I don't want to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. So I became a vet and I always wanted to be a vet as well anyway. Mm -hmm. But moral of the story is be nice to your veterinarians because that shit is hard. It doesn't seem like an easy job. I have a it's, Yeah, it's mentally taxing, it's physically taxing, especially if you're doing, you know, I mean, even a day that like a GP does 13 hour days often, like, you know, four or five days a week. Mm -hmm. And then I was in emergency, so I was doing 6 p.m. till 6.30 a.m., you know, three to four days a week mm -hmm. on top of running my porn company and I was like, I was low on my battery, for yeah, sure. That's for to sure. put it lightly. God damn. This bacon looks so good. Mm. It, it's, get crispier. I gotta say, you know, I mean, this is off the subject of, you know, you know, treat your vets nice and everything, but yeah. um, I could honestly just sit here and watch bacon. I know, at least mesmerizing. Yeah, there's- It's so happy. There's some points where I'm like, <laughs> man, I should just get high and just cook bacon. Well, I mean, but it's so delicious, so yeah, why wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Motherfucker! <laughs> hey, do you, do you want to? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. No, I got no. You. Beauty is pain, and um, bacon chicken waffles are beauty. Oh my god, that's so clever! Is that what those are made for? Yeah. So I have seen them in kitchens before, and I had so, no idea. I thought they were some weird like flour sifter. No. Uh, we have sifters. We have a uh, spider. This <laughs> is our big one. You yeah, but this big. is so the, the oil won't splatter on you. So now yeah. I can just be really chefy and be like, oh. Yeah, but uh, really get that. I did. Yeah, there you go, there you go. So well, I think the, the problem, and this, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. uh, one of the things I think people often do is just try to do this, like right there. If you, you, flip it you around angle a it a little bit, bit, then you can go like here. Just kind of angle. I can flip a mean pancake. Yeah? Well, don't worry, we're doing waffles. <laughs> <laughs> we did pancakes last week. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's something you gotta... Maybe that'll be what I, I'll choose a Jamie Oliver meal with pancakes mm -hmm. in it, so I can be drunkenly flipping pancakes. That sounds like a terrible idea. See, you know what I think, I think is funnier? Like, I, I like that idea. Or, you basically give me a pitcher and tell me to make it. Yeah. I like doing that. Have you ever tried to cook blind... Oh, no, I feel like that's too dangerous, cooking what? blindfolded. No. <laughs> I've that, the, that I've, size says it all. I I've think cooked just... blacked out drunk. I think that's a little different. I mean, I, I made Because you might food. not remember it the next day, but at the time you can semi-see. It was still good. Yeah. Does it? Really? This 
bacon does not want to be my friend. It's still hissing at me. Yeah, it's going to do that for a second. I just want to be friends. Nobody's your friend. Nobody likes you. I like you. You like friend. me. I do like you. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a, a good find. I say that in the best possible way. <laughs> Pick me up on a... In a thrift store? No, it's a Sa Sam, <laughs> Sam from Penthouse. That is not a weird thing from America. You call them thrift shops. I only know that from that, I'm gonna pop some kids. Wait, what do you, what do you call them? Um, it, we call them op, op shops. Op Opportunity shop. shops. Op that shops. Sounds like so you go poor op shopping, not thrift shopping. It sounds like poor people stuff. But it, it, I guess thrift doesn't sound much better. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, all the same. Yeah, it's all the same. But I really want to go shopping and um, I want to go thrift shopping in America though. You should. I will. Yeah. I've already I got plans dump, to do it. Like if you go to the one right over here, I just dumped a bunch of really cool clothes. I had an American flag onesie that I just gave away. I feel like we're starting to crisp too far, or at least we're starting to smell like we're crisping nope. too. Nope, so what we do is turn off it and let it sit in the oil for a second. Then we're gonna strain it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm too smart to reach in and grab a piece because I know it's boiling oil, but God, I just hey. want to like sample a little bit out of it at the I moment. Do you? Mm -hmm. I believe in you. <laughs> Don't tempt me. This is when I get hurt. Hey, all all ratings are ratings. Spiegler will have your ass. So, here you go. It's a very tiny thing to. Oh no, we're fine. Yeah. Look at us go. There you go. Okay. There that. Boom. Now I'll put this on the side. It's so crispy. Now you ready to do it? Now you're ready to get weird? Waffle time? Waffle time. Waffle time or chicken time? So, well, technically it's chicken. It's so, <laughs> so, so not the waffle time. <laughs> when, when I say waffle time, I really mean chicken time. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's like we're reading each other's minds. I know. We're the so, I don't know if that's a good thing that we're the same beast at yes. this point, Nathan. I can't decide. We're the same. <laughs> um, All right. So here's what we're going to do. Boom. We need flour. Chicken? Flour. So, okay, but so we're making, chicken? what we're, doing right, what we're yeah. doing right now is we're making a dredge. So the marinade to right now is, it. yeah, so basically it's a, uh, it's. Look, I know things. Flour, cayenne, ginger, paprika, pepper, garlic, and salt. So You're going to have to repeat all of that again because you've given me a whiskey and a half and I just, uh, I heard flour. No! <laughs> and I was in. And I, I got can't, you. this is child proof. <laughs> no, it's porn star proof. Oh, got it. I just had to squeeze it really hard for it to, you know what? don't do that, guys. I love how you just talked dirty to me <laughs> on camera. How much flour? Oh, let's see. I think see. you just read the ingredients, Two cups. not the amount. Two cups, holy shit, okay. Yeah, honestly, I don't really You're going to have no flour left. Well, what's, uh, no, I bought another one because of that. So, um, have you ever made fried chicken? Not at home. I'm a very clean eater. So. And that's been something that's taken me a moment to get used to in America. What? Clean eating. I mean, LA, it's easier than other places, but there's a lot of fried stuff here. Yeah. And I don't get me wrong, it's delicious, but my Australian soul misses occasionally. So what we're going to do is... Make it up as we go? Well, you're putting all these in there. And basically, you want to kind of overly pour when it comes to this, because you want to make, when it's coming to a dredge, you want to make sure the seasoning gets all around there. Uh, uh, this is when I take my anger out. I don't know who I'm angry at or who hurt me, but Most. like... Who hurt you? I don't know. There you go. Do you masturbate that much anymore? Uh, like, like on your free time, not on webcam, not on like anything like that. I have so much sex that not a lot, to be honest. Yeah. I don't need to, mm. but I do sometimes. Yeah. 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 I think it's. I think self care is really important, and sex with yourself is very different to sex with other people. And you only you know yourself um, that well. So like the best orgasms are almost always going to be on your own mm. in your own bedroom. You know. I wish I could say the same thing. <laughs> My hand's such a limp noodle sometimes. <laughs> Let's see if I put enough in. I feel like it should be a brown color if I did it right. Mm. <coughs> oh, that cane pepper. Wow! <laughs> my nose is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> this oh. nose is on fire. <laughs> oh. How's it looking? I think it's fine. Yep. I thought I'm going to sneeze again. 
Now it's gone. Oh, damn. <laughs> Fucking just take me away. Mm. <sighs> yeah, that's good? I think so. Fucking A. You're the chef, not me. Yeah, I know, but I, I like to leave some up to interpretation, so. <laughs> I think that's fun about this. Um, so what we're gonna do now, mm. see that chicken behind you that's been marinated just for a couple hours? Oh God, it's right gonna there. come again, yep. I'm gonna pull that out. <laughs> oh my God, I knew it was coming. <laughs> and so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take a couple spoonfuls of that and you're gonna put it in here and then you're gonna mix it around really good. A couple of spoonfuls of the chicken or the, no, the sauce? The batter? And basically what we're trying to do is try to make pockets I'm 1, of- 1,000% gonna sneeze again. I'll bite it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say that because then you're just going to do it more. Yeah. How many spoonfuls? That much? Uh, yeah, I'll stir it up real good. Because we want to make little pockets of the flour so it kind of gets on there and gets like these nice like little... Like crunchy little... Yeah, little crunchy... Tidbits. Crunchy bits. I think I need more. Mm. I think we need more fluids. Yeah. Now, how, oh, but what I was getting at is if you've never made fried chicken, mm. there's basically going to be three stations. There, into here, and onto a pan. Uh, sometimes there's more, depending if you put egg in this and that, whatever. But um, your hands are going to get kind of dirty. Yeah. This we may want to take off for right now. Nah, fuck it. You know what? Fucking A, right? I believe in you. You are master of your own destiny. I mean, I deal with a lot of filth all the time, and I survived this long, so what is a bit of batter going to do to me, realistically? You, you know and, what? <laughs> and this is why I believe in you, and this is why in you're on the economy, show. economy, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> I've added a bit more because I feel like it wasn't enough. It wasn't globby enough. I feel like this looks a little better. Is that chunky enough? That or do you looks want good chunkier? to me. I like the chunk. You like a bit of chunk? No. I know we're looking at each other like you're chunky at all. I know. <laughs> I like a bit of chunk. Do you like big girls? Yes. Do you like big guys? My first um, booty thing that I ever shot was for my own company. Mm -hmm. And um, was with a really dear friend of mine called Honey. I can't say her last name on YouTube. You will lose your your entire platform if I say her last name. Honey. No, go, go ahead. Um, and she is a BBW. She's a big girl. And basically, the premise was: I'm getting ready to do my first anal with a guy, and I need an anal expert to stretch me out. So, um, Honey was my girl. It was so hot. Yeah. I just love that my first anal moment was with a girl as well. Like, that's so rare. Mm. Like, most people go straight for the boys. Whereas I was like, no, I want my big, beautiful, voluptuous friend to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you enjoy bigger ladies? Do you, yeah. Do you enjoy bigger dudes? I, well, I just like, I like people in general. It's not, for me... I never really know what to class myself as sexually. Like, I don't know if I'm pansexual or if I'm sapiosexual. I can never quite work it out. But I love as long... how you know those things. I have no idea really? what the fuck it is. Yeah. So a sapiosexual? Sapiosexual is when you're more attracted to intelligence than anything else. So it's not about the way a person looks. It's more about what's up here. Um, and oh. then pansexual is when, it, like, sexual identity doesn't really matter that much to you. Like, you're very open to, like, all the colors of the rainbow. Nice. Um, so I can never really work out what I am. I, tr I don't really label myself, um, but I'm not, I'm not bothered by looks. I'm not bothered by the sizes of people's appendages mm. or anything like that. If you're a nice human, if you're hygienic, if you're, you know, um, I think if you're teachable. I think this job has shown me more than one time. It's like, it's, I don't give a fuck what you look as long as you're fucking fun. Yeah. As long as you want to be here. Yeah, that means exactly. so much to me. Yeah, exactly. So that's usually where I'm I've at. only had a starfish oh. once in my life and I'm never going to repeat it again. God, I've, had, I've had so many starfish. So what we're going to do is we're going to mm, take one of those pieces me of meat. That sad. And you're sticking Ooh, here. Yes, okay, this is my favorite. Hang on. I need to. Because by the time we get we're a couple. Get, we're getting this hair back for this. This is. Oh, she's getting blowjob ready. Fuck. <laughs> mm-hmm. Come on. It's fine. He's being my mother. Yeah. Now, you really want to push this into it. Like, get, get in there. Fucking shove it in deep. I did. So, speaking of anal, mm. how does one prepare for said anal? When you say prepare, what do you mean? I mean, like, how would you, if we were talking to some novices, I mean, It's okay, mom, I swear. It's okay. I mean, Mima. <laughs> Mem, Mammy. Uh, how would you tell someone, like, a first timer? How would do you tell them to set themselves up to get fucked in the ass? Um, so I think, firstly, um, 
don't feel pressured into doing it. Like, oh, such good advice. It's like, it's a big deal to do. It's a very different sensation and it's not for everyone. And you don't need to feel like you have to do it. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, take your time exploring with yourself before you even think about doing it with someone else because the, the best person to train you how to do it is yourself because only you can feel what you're doing to your body mm -hmm. and start small in the beginning. Like when I started teaching myself, I just graduated my fingers. Like started with one and then went to two and then went to three, you know, blah, blah, blah. Lots of, um, I used um, oil-based stuff, but you don't want to use oil-based stuff if you eventually end up um, having anal sex if you use condoms because that's going to damage the condoms. You yeah. need to use more like a silicon base. Water based is terrible because it absorbs in your butthole. Mm -hmm. um, but take your time. Like it took me like six months to get to the point that I could realistically do it with another person. It was a really long process for me. Um, and it's okay to take your time. Um, and then don't get caught up in this cleaning out bullshit. Like I get for porn that we have to do it because payment gateways don't allow certain things to be shown. But Poop. at the end of the day, 90% of the time, like, I mean, most people know their own body. They know when they need to go to the bathroom. Yeah. As long as you time it after that, 90% um, of the time you're not going to have any issues. So don't feel pressured into feeling like you need a perfect butthole. <laughs> Um, that's a really good bacon. And um, mm. if a guy is upset at you because something happens mess-wise when you're doing anal, he's not... I mean, if you're not prepared to, for something to potentially happen during anal, then you shouldn't be doing anal. You should never pressure someone into feeling like it has to be perfect and it must be totally clean. I'm sorry, but you're sticking something into a place that poop comes out of. Like, that's the nature of the game. Um, and sometimes literally shit happens. Yeah, I was like, was like the, so, the big words of the day is shit happens. So be a fucking adult about it and don't make people feel bad if it happens. Because guess what? Every point, like for the guys out there who expect girls to be just absolutely clean, every it's girl not that realistic. you. Well, no, but every girl that you've seen on a porno. Something's uh, happened that, at some point, my Guess family. what? They've shit on my dick. Um, it's happened. Everyone shits. Um, and I mean, anal is a really fun time and I really love it. It's not for everyone, but for me, I adore it. But if you don't have a partner who understands that, then they're not the one to be doing it with. There you go. See you later. Don't give it up for just anyone. Make sure they want to do it with you. And go, go slow. Go slow. Yeah. And yeah, it doesn't, anal does not necessarily involve a penis. It's true. You know? True. I <laughs> love the giggles in the background. <laughs> this girl knows what we're talking about, right? Yeah. Hey, uh, You're three whiskeys deep. It's like do, anal. Do Let's I go. Do I sound really wise? Do I sound like Yoda? Well, she speaks Spanish. Am I anal Yoda? Yeah. She doesn't speak Spanish. Only her, Spanish. Her English is okay. Uh, Mi nombre uh, Charlie. Uh, oh, <laughs> That's all I've got. <laughs> Gordo. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, not Gordo. Go, go, go. Is this one I... <sighs> yeah, I'm just dumping your hands on there. Fuck it. <laughs> Three thirty-five. I feel like Edward Scissorhands, but like a really sad, chefy version. <laughs> Wait, let's see. What is uh, Celsius? We're looking at 160, 170. Yeah, I'm definitely not dipping my fingers into that. All right, bad let's boy. dump them in. Can I do it with tongs? I'm terrified of hot oil. I'm Sorry, like, I'll do it. it is one of my fears. Yeah, see, it's that sizzle that scares me because I am the kind of person that would like literally start an oil fire and, you know, end up in the hospital. Uh, Is this when I put my hands all over your... You can wash my hands. You, can, no, you, you, you don't you, want no, it? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's honestly, the problem is I want to eat it and I know I shouldn't. Because there's been raw chicken on it. Uh, yeah, apparently that's a bad thing. I have had um, food poisoning from chicken before. Yeah. And I never want to repeat that. It's rough, man. Again, I it is the only time I've ever had food poisoning where I was double ending in the shower in the middle of the night. And man. you all know what I mean when I say that. It was fucking horrific. Speaking I about double hope ending. I never, ever end up in that sushi. I couldn't eat sushi for two years. And I love sushi. I'm back at it now. Oh my god, I don't know where to wipe my hands. I'll just wipe it all over Nathan. Oh, That's here. fine. Or this. No, my nice shirt. Oh, I got food all over it. I'm an asshole. 
This is why you can't take me to nice places. I, I give you a towel, I tell you about an apron, and you're like, no. Nah, Nathan's back. Charlie was here. Ha! <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh. Hey, I'm cooking for you. Ooh, this is like Lady in the Tramp mm. vibes. It's a shame that I can't see. My, my adult brain just wants to drink it and spit it in your mouth, but we're not going to do that. Hey, well, why don't we do That's that? That's for when the cameras are on. Do it. Do it. Do it. I don't want to lose your platform. They're not going to lose my platform. I barely got it. Does it matter? It's on you. You know, nothing goes better with whiskey than spit. <laughs> Am I right, fellas? Ha <laughs> ha! I just want to see that it kick me off. <laughs> You've seen how far you can push it? Yeah. Where are our boundaries? Uh, speaking what, of boundaries. Spoken like a true You know what? Stuff. Speaking of boundaries, <laughs> I think that's a great place to go from. Uh, we can just throw that in the fucking washer. I'll just sit them here for now. Yeah, God, it feels like there's stuff on my back. <coughs> speaking of boundaries, I think mm. that's a great place to go to. Um, a lot of people, when they look at us and they watch us perform, they think this is what sex is. They don't take into the account of how much conversation is behind the scenes, uh, what to do, what to not do. Yeah. If there are some fellas out there and you're trying to give advice to them about like sex, what to do? Porn is equivalent to going to Netflix in the sense that when you go to Netflix, if you want to watch something that's educational, you'll go watch a documentary. If you want to watch... Spider-Man, pew pew, shoot like spider webs from his hands. You'll go and watch that and you know it's fantasy and you know that when it finishes, you're not going to be able to like go and like stand in your house and shoot webs out of your hands to the ceiling, you know, like it's a fantasy world and porn is the same. It's an overarching genre and there are companies and there are people who create porn that is educational and mirrors real life sex. For sure, there's a lot of companies that do that. There's also a huge amount of companies that revel in the fantasy and there's, there's not, I'm having such a serious conversation and this fucker is making so much noise. Whiskey! <laughs> oh my God! Um, you know, it's okay to just revel in the fantasy of it. It's okay to create porn that is exactly that, like an imaginary scape. Um, and it's important when people watch porn that they understand that it's not necessarily the way that real life sex is. For me, yeah, I have a lot of um, like crazy sex in my personal life. I'm very exploratory. Um, but sometimes as well, I want the vanilla side. And, you know, porn, porn is, a, it, like, is an escape often. Yeah. Yeah. So what you see in porn is not necessarily real life sex. For me, I love both. Porn sex still feels amazing to mm. me, but in okay. my in my head, every time I shoot porn, say we were shooting a scene together, there's you, there's me, there's a third person in the room, and it's not the videographer, it's the customer watching the video yeah. a few months down the track. Yeah. So I'm opening to camera to make sure that they can see. I'm trying to talk in a way that helps them live out their fantasies or get off as well. Yeah. And so... It's very different to real life sex in that sense because I'm constantly thinking about this other person who mm. is you. Mm. You're welcome. You think about you guys fucking mm -hmm. constantly. Yeah. Now, on that same note, it's like um, it's like it's, it's 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 interesting to like to tell people like, okay, this is what we're thinking about. Yeah. But what would you tell a guy? He's like he's just about to like fuck someone for the first time. And he thinks he needs to do a certain amount of work or a certain amount of like oh, porn because he's watched porn and he's like, <laughs> okay, so I need to go and just go as fucking hard as possible. What would you say to that? Exactly. You know what I'm talking about. That's what he does, doesn't he? Uh, exactly what I just said. That porn is the fantasy. And the thing is, is the best sex that you'll ever have is the sex where you ask the other person what they love and you do that. Like most of us get off by getting other people off. Mm -hmm. There's no point having an ego about this. Just ask people what they're okay with and what they're not okay with and work within those boundaries. Like, I could say to you, I don't want to do any of the crazy stuff. I don't want to change position. I want to lie there and enjoy it. And there'd still be a way for it to be really sexy and intimate and beautiful. Yeah. And um, fast does not mean better. Fast does not mean a faster orgasm. It doesn't mean any of that. Um, it's about what that particular person 
likes. Yeah, agreed. And making sure that you verbalize what you like as well. Like there has to be middle ground on both sides. Yeah. It's not about one person. No. It mm -hmm. takes two or three or four or five or six plus to tango. And you kind of have to check in with everyone. Yeah. And it's always good throughout the night not to check on like, is there like not in an annoying way, but just like, hey, you like this? Is this good? Mm -hmm. I, I think that is something that people need to bring more to sex and just yeah. bring it around a little more because if you ask about these things, then there's no guesswork. Yeah. Consent is so sexy and there's ways to get consent for things that's really hot. Like everyone's always scared of dirty talk and I kind of have built myself a little niche of being really good at dirty talking. Mm. I don't know if you would agree, but I think that I can talk really well during sex. I think you do better. And, and a lot of people don't understand how to do it or how to broach that and they feel awkward talking, but dirty talk is really just asking for consent for pretty much anything and like then a bit of spice or like seasoning during the sex. And the best way that I can describe to people to do, like do dirty talk is you think about your five senses. So sight, smell, hearing, touch. I'm so scared. I'm so scared that I forgot the fifth was the, what was the last sense. No, it's in Celsius again. Oh my god. Um, oh my god, I can't think until I... Uh, scent. Uh, scent. Uh, okay, wait, I can think again. So, um, when I'm having sex, if I want to dirty talk, I think about my senses and I kind of just try to make descriptors with those senses, so... If it's feel, it's, you know, I love feeling blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to be PG while I talk about this, but I, I love feeling blah, blah at the moment. If it's um, hearing, God, hearing your mind turns me on, you know. If it's sight, like you just talk about your senses, that's dirty talk. Hmm. And when you think about it that way and you just think about what am I seeing or hearing or feeling or touching at this moment? What, what are the sensations that I've got? What's the smell? Hmm. Um, and by verbalizing it, then you, you can dirty talk then. It's so easy once you think about it that way. I like that. Who put this up there? Only because you asked nicely. Thank you, sweetness. <laughs> I really want to eat this chicken. I do too. So let's start doing waffles. Okay. I never made a waffle. Um, would you uh, turn that thing on? If I can work out how to turn it on. Yeah. Uh, do you yeah. think coconut oil or avocado oil? I don't, you're the chef, I don't know. I think uh, coconut oil will add a nice sweetness to it. Now, I haven't used one of these in a while. <laughs> so, this is when we light your house on fire? No, no, that not that. Saying? I just don't know what, I don't know what temperature to put it at. Okay. So, let's do three and what we're going to do. I feel like I need to do a spoon instead of this. Oh, yeah, no, we're going to get, we're going to get, we got you. Yeah. You got me? I got you. I got you, babe. Oh, I love when people say that to me. No. Get off! Oh, I was gonna be that person. He didn't like that. All right, a whole scoop on. I think that should be enough, but uh, you know. Okay. But also, let's let's wait till like it's. Let, give it a couple more seconds. But I'm so impatient. Yeah, I know. Weird. I can't wait. How long are you frying for? You haven't told anyone. Till it's done. Well, that's useless. Well, because this is supposed to be at uh, three fifty, but. What temperature should it be inside if you're checking? 150, 160. Oh. So 131. Oh. But also it's going to keep cooking through. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I trust you. I won't get some. Well, here's, here's the thing. Me. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it open just to make sure. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything's going to be good. Because mm -hmm. I don't get deep fried chicken that often. And also I didn't want to go any darker than that. Any darker than that, it's going to be burnt. Mm -hmm. So. And what would you do if you were trying to make this at home? Mm. <laughs> Just because I might try to do this. And what if it looks like that on the outside, but it's not quite right on the inside? How do you repair the damage? Do you put um, it in the oven? What you can you put it in the oven. Uh, you can put it on like, because it only needs a little bit longer to get through. Because if it's yeah. already right there, it only needs a little bit. So yeah. it's if we're thinking about like a scale of like what it looks like, if it's white and it's just a little bit under white, I just need like a little bit longer. But if I put it in the oil, it's cooking everything. So you might want to put it in the oven at, mm, three, I'm going to say 350 for like five minutes. Have that okay. bitch already good. And if you pull it right out there to in there. But also got to remember, the thing that's interesting about meat, 
or most vegetables or anything is once the heat's touched it, mm. it doesn't stop. Yeah. You think if I pull it off the heat, it stops? No, because basically like the same thing with your skin or anything else, it will keep cooking Radiant all the heat. way through. So yeah. you gotta remember those uh, fun little facts. Mm. Now, does that feel warm? Well, I'm, tr yes. Yeah, all right, let's. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah, I love that you, I would be stupid enough to put my hand on that. No, I just meant, I just meant <laughs> feel. All right, so, yeah, let's, um. One scoop? Yeah, one scoop. Oh, this is a slow, come on, bad boy. Help a girl out and get on there. Is that about right? Yeah. Smush it? Smush yeah, it? no, smush it. Smush it? Right there. Do you just like rest it or do you have to push it hard? I've never yeah, made a waffle. Yeah. yeah, we see it come around the outside because it's going to keep coming out. So I'm Stop, intrigued. Friend. I haven't made waffles in a very long time. Stop. Yeah. So, Stop. So when I said smush <gasps> it, don't smush it. Here, you got this. Problem Wait, solved. I think it stopped. We're just going to have a really drippy waffle. Problem solved. <coughs> By oh. the way, I'm not sick when I cough. I was sick three weeks. She's got COVID. Don't judge me. Huh? And how long do we cook that for? Till it's done. So one of the things you want to look at, if we're watching the side, see how it's still uh, like, uh, it looks shiny? Mm -hmm. We want it to look more like that. Okay. Don't squish it. That's what you just said. Yeah, you no, no, I said don't squish it, but that's when you squish it when it's uh, liquid and it's going to come out. I feel like I'm blocking absolutely everything. Come to me, friend. <laughs> come to me, animal friend. You love me, don't you? What, the whole camera? Mm. No, because I cleared the way. Oh no, I, I love you to death. You're amazing. I, You're I, amazing. I very much appreciate you. Uh, it's nearly not shiny anymore. That's your fault, that little bubble. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we do with the stuff. Bop, bop. Mm. Mm. Oh. How Here's do I get the waffle off is my next question. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Why did I say that's so funny? Shut up, fucking thing. Mm. Oh. What did I say? Oh, How do I that. get the waffle off? Uh, I think it needs a little bit longer. A little longer. But it looks good. That's but the nice thing about get the waffle off. Um, you still haven't. You just laughed at me and didn't answer my Australian question. You can, no, it's not even Australian. Pop it up. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I think it needs a little bit longer. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah. It's like we're a little married couple. Look oh. at us go. Oh my God, you're so sweet, uh, baby. Mwah. Wait, but then we have to have an argument. I fucking you hate your mom. You did not cook the chicken enough. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, my mom. Sorry. Whoa. <laughs> sorry, Miss Ford. Um, at least it wasn't Mama Ford, is what my friends call her. Mama Ford, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah. My blood sugar is low. And your whiskey is blood low. reading is high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're doing. That's nah, still that? squishy. Do you see that? That's pretty good. Yeah. You reckon? Feel that? Yeah, because yeah, see, it's not it's like just the edge. Yeah. You reckon pop it? I pop it. Let's see. I think this is a good first one. There we go. Boom. Waffle number one. That's that's a pretty solid waffle, guys. All I right, I'm on this. I've got this. I've got a. Are you getting really excited now? You're like, oh my god, there's nearly three ready. I'm gonna not do what Nathan did, and I am not gonna smush it because look, it's already so close to the edge. <sighs> Stop, friend, in the name of waffles. I don't know where to put it. Oh god, the other side. You really have to like get it in the middle to make yeah, the perfect it's, waffle. The, the it's an is, art form. And also because the back end goes down a little lower, so it kind of smushes it out this way. That's okay. Oh my god, that chicken looks... It's food porn, right? You know what? The only thing that I love more than porn is food porn. Dude. Oh, 100%. Food porn. 
Do you ever like sit and watch those videos? Like yes. there are some people that are very famous for like all they do on YouTube and stuff is they do like fingering of fruit or like dripping of honey and it's like literal food porn. I, I you know what I actually it's I making me salivate thinking about I it. I prefer just to watch people um, like cook really good food and just get beautiful shots. Um, on the same lines, you know what really does it for me? What? It's like if I watch a porno, but it looks absolutely visually stunning. I love cinematic porn. Yeah, and it's it's the same thing. It's like I love seeing something that just is done well by people who are amazing. It's interesting because there's two niches, two are like two big niches in porn are the amateur world and the professional world. And the amateur world has had such a big, like you know, pump up with the launch of websites like OnlyFans and other clip sites. But God, there's something about cinematic porn for me personally, where there's just that extra level of, like it just portrays a lot more emotion, I think. Yeah. Than what amateur stuff does, because you can get close up shots of people's emotions and reactions and what you see on the body that you might not necessarily, oh God, that you might not necessarily see. Um, Mm. Oh, it's so hot, but so good. Oh, oh. I think I've missed my calling. My calling was waffle maker. Oh, yeah. I'd say put more, like right in there. Yeah, right. And also spray it down every time. But that one turned out fine. Yeah, but you just want it. Oh my god, I didn't realize how hungry I was until I ate that. Oh no. Oh. I think I need oh. to do just a little bit less as well for the perfect waffle. Oh, I think I got it down to a fine art. There that you looks go. Looks like the perfect waffle, maybe. We will soon find out. I'm stealing this little bit. Mm. You never talked through how you made the butter. Yeah. Tell us. No. <laughs> so He's given up. He's like, there's food involved now and I'm not talking about shit. So what I'm thinking about doing... Yeah? I'm just trying to plate it Ooh, real... Ooh, you're going to be fancy. Anyway, here you go. Boom, boom. I love so. watching... My favorite thing when I watch cooking shows is watching them plate food. I think... The presentation is like half of the battle with food. I could have a slightly shit tasting meal, but if it was presented to me beautifully, I'd probably think it tasted better than it does. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We got the, the uh, bourbon. bacon on the top and oh, oh. my god, I'm so excited. You want to try to smell this bourbon maybe? Oh so? my god. Mm, yum. So what I'm thinking about doing, and I, I want to hear a pity people's opinion mm -hmm. on this. So. We have when this. When you say people's opinion, you just mean me. Because yeah, no pretty much you. Yeah, everyone who's watching. <laughs> uh, so we have this, right? Maple syrup on top of this, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe even do this differently. Maybe here. No, I liked it the way it was before. Yeah? So. Yeah. So boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And then we maple syrup. Like that. Then chicken and then the honey butter. Are you going to chop the chicken, do you reckon? I don't know. What do you think? That's what I was like. I was trying to think. It depends. Like if you did like... Now, if you did like a whole drumstick, that needs to obviously be on its uh, own. But if you did like a bit of breast or something, you think I should just like chop it in chunks? Mm. All right, that's what that's and what you I'm could do like. Oh, oh, got an idea. You could complete the circle by like doing one of those fanny so, things. So let's do this. So, so put this boom. But what if you, why didn't you need it on the chicken as well? No, no, because I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this on the this, and then I'm gonna put the honey butter on the chicken. Okay. So it's gonna look almost like yin yang. Okay. I love how much we're concentrating about this. This is the part where no one How talks. much maple syrup is perfect and how much is too much? I think that's a good amount right there. That's just my So opinion. not covering all of the little holes. No, no, no. I, I like, well, again, this is all a depending, like, because I would like to cut. Yeah, where are we at with that? Ooh! Right, I'm on it. I could see you pointing and I was like, no, I have faith in myself. It's fine. So. Ooh. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Oh, 
I'm always terrified of getting someone in trouble with licensing issues for like singing a song because I know someone who in a porno put like 10 seconds of their own rendition of a song in piano mm -hmm. and the person who owned the music found out and sued them for $20,000. So now I'm terrified. Nice. Like understandable, but also not because art, you know, like everything takes inspiration from somewhere and it wasn't like an identical rendition of it. I don't know. I never, to be honest, I never heard it, but I heard that mm. it was... Oh, yeah, yeah, see, I like that. I need a little crispy bacon bits. Oh, it's coming. <sighs> I'm stressed. Yeah, don't be stressed out. It's coming. I just want to, I want to heat this up a little bit. When he says it, it's the honey butter. Yeah, the honey butter. The one that you guys don't know about. Yeah, the one that he won't talk to you about, even though it's probably just honey and butter and you can totally make it on your own without his help. You could. But he's just trying to gatekeep something that's fucking ridiculous to gatekeep. You could. It's honey and butter. Giving away all his secrets. You're such a chef. Look at you trying to drizzle it with the... I love watching people who care about food make food. So is this what we would all say is like real American grub? We, as we'd say in Australia, is this I, American grub? I'd say it was, yeah, something like that. What? That sound. I'm so happy. I'm gonna wanna Grind fucking- Grind that bacon. Mm. I don't wanna go to sleep after this. Um, all right, there's that, let's yeah, get this. Yeah, this is like post-sex food, I feel like. Yeah. Although who would have the energy to make this after sex, but if I was gonna make something and I had the energy, this is like, ultimate post-sex food. I feel like this is not like a casual Wednesday night meal. No. This is, this is special. This is Wednesday night. <laughs> Wednesday night, hump day. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a day of some shenanigans. Uh, oh my God, you make mm -hmm. us both a plate? Yeah. <sighs> I feel so loved. Oh yeah. It needs Ooh. to look identical or you're not a real chef. <laughs> <laughs> it already looks different. You're fired! <laughs> oh my pride. <laughs> Say boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Okay, guys. That that was the perfect waffle. Look at it. Uh, it's not even like the edge is like all. Blah, 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 blah. I love how my food always looks better on the first one than it does the second one. What kind of restaurants did you work in when you were a chef? Did you ever work in restaurants? Yeah. Like what kind? Did Fine you... dining French restaurant. Yeah. I've worked on uh, catering companies. I've worked in, I've worked in all the companies. All of the companies. Which was your favorite type of food to make? Has anyone ever asked you that? Oh yeah. In a kitchen? Yeah. It... Well, like just in general, like what was your favorite type of food to make? Was it the fine dining so you could be more creative and it, like it... exploratory or was it? It honestly just depends on, it just depends. It depends Was it on, dependent on your bosses? Depends on the bosses. Depends on the people I'm uh, the people I'm working with. Depends on the food of the day. You know, there's a lot of depending on there. But if you could choose, what is your cuisine? If you could describe Nathan in one cuisine, what would it be? Barbecue and Asian. Yeah, yeah. Here's this. Here, you get this one. Wait, I'm still cooking a waffle. Yeah, and... I know, but we're gonna <sighs> eat now. <sighs> Just make sure you do both. How do you eat a waffle without a knife? <laughs> what do I just like? Honestly, I was like gonna, a I was, Neanderthal. I was gonna do this. <laughs> you go, you're like yes. Yes. Oh wait. <clears throat> oh yeah, you're missing. Here, this is your knife. Hey, do you not see? He's got a knife. <laughs> mm. I'm scared about this. I can't fully enjoy it because I'm waiting for this waffle to finish cooking. Oh my god. Oh. Chicken and waffles, huh? Mm. Oh god, I feel like I. All right, mm. here we go. I'm gonna have one bite by the time you finish it. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. The only thing I would say is I'm a bacon fanatic, mm -hmm. so I would probably like load this the fuck up with bacon. Oh, load it up. Mm hmm. But that's really good. Let me save this waffle so I can think. Mm. Unplug it. 
Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Deliciosa. Your Spanish. Was that a legit word? Yeah. yeah. I learned like two years ago. And but then in Australia I didn't have anyone to practice with, so I forgot everything. Mm. But I want to start again here. Mm. Mm. Um. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Good. I feel like I could have gone more ham with the seasoning. Yeah. I'm a perfectionist, if you can't tell. But yeah. it's yummy, yummy as fuck. The thing you learn about deep prime is always gonna do more seasoning. Yeah, I feel like you can go crazy because yeah. it like cuts back a little bit. The flour it? cuts back on it, and so. Mm. 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 Happy flesh. Nice, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Um, tell them where we're gonna find you so we can stop talking to them and eat. Mm-hmm. You can find me anywhere, really, as long as you search for my name. Mm -hmm. um, I'm yeah. on Twitter, under Charles Ford, TikTok under Charles Ford, Reddit under Charles Ford, Instagram under the Charlie Ford, because Instagram does not like me. Mm. Um, and then my own sites, like my spicy sites, you'd have to hunt yourself, because I don't feel like I should okay. mention those links. No, it's okay. I have a link tree. It's pinned to all of my social media, so you can definitely hunt for it there. Mm. It's easy to find. If you're, if you're not smart enough to find it, then we have serious issues. Mm. So you'll be right. <laughs> Use the Google. Uh-huh. Exactly. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming in for another mm -hmm. episode of Cooking with Nathan. Judy, you're the shit. Love you. Mm. I also, want to meet Judy. And she's the better. She'd make me a quote right now. She's what? Making me a quilt. Judy? Yeah, all my old band shirts she's making me a quilt. Oh, yeah, she's lovely. I wanna, have you met Judy? No. <gasps> we have to meet Judy. Where does oh. she live? The, like, tell me later, maybe not in Over camp. there. You want me to give her an address? <laughs> um, no. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much. I hope if you liked the episode, please like, subscribe, follow. We need as many people to en enjoy the show so we can keep making new episodes. Thank you so much for actually enjoying And especially like this one so that he invites me back because he thinks that I'm badass. Yeah, and then he can cook. Next time I'm going to make him cook for me. Easy. Um, and I'm going to make it something really difficult like a croaking bush. Croaking bush. If you want to see me make Nathan <laughs> make a croaking bush for me, like it. Also, check out the merch store, guys. Lots of new stuff coming soon. This piece of shit running the camera is going to be making all new stuff for you to like. So come, enjoy, buy. We celebrate. Eat good uh, food and um, get drunk on the weekends, I guess. I don't know. Even though it's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. <laughs> ah. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> mm. oh, I'm going to nap. <laughs>